What's up, everyone? I'm Janitor Jake. And I'm Chris K. And welcome to the American Gaming Geeks. What? Alright, and welcome back for another episode. Now, if you're new to the channel or you want to get right straight to the game, you can go to this number right here, and it'll take you right to the game. Otherwise, we are going to get the show started. So, Chris, what's new with you in the world of gaming? Absolutely nothing. Why not? I've Why been... isn't there nothing new with you? The last thing I played was Colibri. Oh, Colibri. Yeah, oh. The Nintendo, I mean, on the wow. Sega. Yeah, Colibri the on the Nintendo. Xbox. On the Poly <laughs> Station. You played it on the Poly <laughs> Station. On the Poly Station. I don't even know anymore. On the 32X. <laughs> Sega 32X. Uh, and on American Gaming Geeks. And that's that's all I've ever done for the last week. Sounds fun. And then I went to work. Yeah, And fun. I came back and I played video games. And then I went back to work and I came back and played video games. That's my life. All right, now, uh, nothing too new with me in the world of gaming. Now, you've heard of Dollar General, right? No. I think most people have heard of Dollar General, Family Dollars, whatever, Hoot yeah. Nanny Hogwash. Yeah. We have, like, three of them around us. There's one 20. that's... It's about 20. Yeah, actually. exactly. There's one that's not too far away, one that's a little bit farther, and then another one that's, like, a 20-minute drive. Mm -hmm. But I never go to that one. Well, I went on a trip, and on my way back, I was like, hey, I'm going to stop at this Dollar General I never stop at. And I went over and looked in their DVD bin, and I was like, wait a minute, they actually have video games in here. <laughs> what? And, and I was looking, and it was, like, Wii games. And I was like, oh, okay, it was, like, some DJ, like... DJ music, guitar hero type stuff. Mm. And so it wasn't anything special. And I'm digging through and they have more games and more games. I'm like, holy cow. And I ended up finding some and decided to buy them. Okay. And like I said, number one, it's just weird getting them from Dollar General. Yeah. But this is what I ended up finding. It is. Three Wii games and a 360 game. So the first really? one I have for the 360 is Sega Superstars Tennis. Huh. Huh. And it is complete. So apparently a lot of these things are from some company or whatever where it's used, but these, from what I gather, are pretty much brand spanking new and have like never really been played before. Yeah, and like I said, uh, it is complete, which I think is awesome, and it's pretty much brand new, so whether or not it was actually used, I have no idea. And then the first Wii game I got is Gummy Bears Mini Golf. So I've never heard of this one. I don't own very many Wii games, so I decided to pick this one up. Okay. And once again, it is complete and pretty much mistine, mistine, pretty much pristine mint condition. All right, and the next one I got is Impossible Mission. Once again for the Wii, and uh, that's not is, a ripoff. It is complete. What's funny is this is based off of the uh, Commodore 64 original classic. Huh. So I don't. I've heard of it before. I've heard of the original. Never played it. And so I'm pretty sure this is a remake of the original that came out on the Commodore 64. Huh. Yeah, it says a faithful adaptation of the past epics classic that improves on the original and blah blah blah. And once again, it is complete and pristine mint condition. So if they were used, whoever used these took extremely good care of them. Yeah. And then last but not least, when I saw this one, I was like, holy cow, I have to buy it. And that is, Destroy All Humans, Big Willy Unleashed. What? So from what I gather, yeah, you've never even seen that one yet. No. I think this is the third game. Okay. And it was released, I believe, exclusively for the Wii, but I'm not exactly sure. Huh. I know there's Destroy All Humans 1, 2, and I think this is the third one. Huh. And so I've been wanting to get all the Destroy All Humans, and once again, it is complete manual and disc, and everything is in pristine mint condition. Huh. And like I said, when I saw it, I was like, holy cow, I have to buy it. And they were dirt cheap. All right, and time to get to the actual game. And the game we're playing today is oh, huh. good old <laughs> Portal. Actually, the orange box. Yeah. But in the orange box, it comes with multiple games, and the game we're going to be playing is Portal. Yeah. Now, the one thing that I think is really weird about that is apparently this is really the only way you can play Portal on a console, unless oh. you get it on PC. Yeah. Because if you're like, hey, I want to buy Portal for the Xbox, you have to get the orange box. Because it says Half-Life 2, Episode 2, Team Fortress, and introducing Portal. Yeah. It's like that's so weird. 
But uh, it is complete, so I do have the manual, do have the disc. Funny thing is, too, I believe this is one of the first games you and I ever played way before like together we're working on the one movie you were working on yeah and you I came over so. and i was like hey check this out this game uses portals yeah and you came over to my place and we threw it in and you're like whoa this is cool and you've never played it before and we sat down and did american gaming geeks back in like 2011 huh. way before i even had the idea for american gaming geeks i don't remember that and we have been wanting to play this game for quite a while yeah and so we're finally going to pop the puppy in and check it out, and hopefully we can beat the son of a gun. Nice. So uh, without further ado, let's pop the puppy in and get going. You ready to play? I'm game. Now nothing's going to work. First I push the button to turn it on. Wouldn't it turn on. The TV turned off. I push the open thing. Doesn't want to open. It's going to turn red. Red ring of death. Never happened before on here. Now it's going to be the red ring. I need to get a knife. To there pop the tray open. <clears throat> That's why I hate consoles that have the tray like this. And I gotta hold it. I legit have to hold it open because if I grab the disc, I can feel it pulling right now. It's trying to close. It wants to close so bad. Alright, so here we are with the orange box. Now, once again, it's going to pull that. i got to turn... Look at that. Look at the volume number. It's all the way down to 13. Yeah, it's so loud. And so, we got Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2, Team Fortress, but... Game. Yeah, we're not going to do any of that. We're just going to play Portal. Oh. Alright, I'm going to hit A. And here we go. Ooh. Oh, oh it was scary. This would be a good game to play for Halloween. Yeah. All right, so here we go. We got new game, load game, developer commentary. We can listen to the developer do his commentary. Wow. Oh, through the game. That's interesting. Now, I did play this. Like I said, you and I played this once a uh, long time ago, and I did beat this game, but it was way back in, like, 2010, 2011, so I don't really remember a whole bunch. So we're going to go to options. I love, like, the creepiness, too, of it with the music. Mm. All right, so we're just going to go to new game. What is this now? What? I wonder if it's doing that because I beat the game previous. Maybe. You know, like, you want to do a new game? Well, here's the bonus content. Maybe. That could be. It's like, no, we're just going to go back to Chapter Uno. Oh. Zach playing in the background. As I was gonna say, I love that there's like... Yeah, I remember the first time playing this, I was waiting. I'm like, okay, what's going on? Uh-huh. It's, it's like, like no. is this a cutscene? Is this a movie? No, you're right into it. Just instantly, which I think is awesome. Look at the rust on that thing. Look, turn around. It's oh, got, yeah, like, it's like it's all rusted. The... That's pretty good detail. I like that. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Great. Oh. I'm back. <laughs> We're playing as uh, Samus from uh, Metroid. Hmm, sure. So right in here is where it's like, okay, is there anything we can click on? I know you can hit toilet. A to jump and LB, left button, to jump too. Hmm. But I don't know. I don't know the controls. Oh, you knocked it over. If you want, you can look at the manual. Oh, you can... oh, oh. I think, it, yeah, I picked that up. Nice. Right in the toilet with it is where it's going to go. <coughs> yeah. Oh, I wonder if I can put the cup in the toilet. Maybe. Yeah, this is going to take a little bit of getting used to just because of the... Uh... There we go. This is like how I play right every in the video. toity with it. Right there. Oh, you can activate it. Oh, that's cool. What'd she say? Your what is appreciated? Uh, see, that's why I like. I feel like I need to turn subtitles on. Yeah, it's like it was so loud when she starts talking. We cranked the thing down. Your business is appreciated. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Doing your business. <laughs> Captioning. There we go. Closed captions or subtitles? Uh, what's the difference? So we're going to go with subtitles. Yeah, because that's in-game. Closed captioning would be like... Now we'll see if it works. 
All right, there we go. See, I wonder if there's like little secrety things. Like, look at that aperture. Yeah. Do not remove from the test area. It's all blurry though. Darn it! I don't know if there's like a zoom button. No, I think you're as close as you can get to it. Yeah, it's all blurry. I can't really read that. So right in the toilet with you too. <laughs> Take it out of the test area. Throw it. Throw it through the portal. All right, I'll just walk out with it then. All right. Well, actually, I, w I want to try something real quick. I mean, we're gonna experiment with everything in this game. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna grab this out of the toilet, throw that in there. Sounds like it broke. It did. Yeah. It broke. I didn't know you could break the cup. Ha! Huh. I just cool. picked it up and threw it in there, and it busted. <laughs> All right, so apparently we can't take this with, but I'm gonna take it with. All right, what is this Head now? Head exploding. So zero zero out of nineteen. Drop so the, cube head exp uh, on someone's head. Is that, what's going yeah, on? Yeah, it looks like it says the cube falls on and smacks you in the noggin. Oh, we could bring the music with it. Look at that. Huh. Yeah, that's pretty epic. I I love the fact that you can crouch and you don't have to hold the crouch button. Yeah. That's creepy looking down there. Yeah, that gives us this feeling of like this massive, like the movie The Cube. You know, this massive area. Yeah, you can pick up the broken pieces of the mug. <laughs> wow. I don't know if you can throw it. Because hmm. I can pick it up and I can drop it. Uh, but I, you don't have like a throw is button. Is there a throw button that you know of? I couldn't see in here. Let's see here. Oh, it is. It's a trigger button. A trigger so if, button? You pitch, if you pick this up, you can hit the right trigger and huh. she'll throw it. That's awesome. So I like, it's like, yeah, you know, I like this jazzy stuff. I'm just going to bring it with me wherever I go now. All right, so where's the clipboard? Because it says, can't bring that with. You pat me walk past just to there on the floor. See if they do anything if you bring it with you. All right, so I'm going to pick up the clipboard and bring it with. Can you look up into that test area that there? Oh, yeah. It's kind of yeah, it's like an office area or somebody, like an observatory. Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping you could break the glass yeah. with that. That'd be funny. That'd be awesome. All right, so we're going to move onward. Left button is jump. Right button is pick oh, up. Oh, yeah, you can't bring more than two items with. Oh, yeah. That's true. X and RB to pick up an object. Okay. So here's where you would do this. Whoops. Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber block after completing each test. Huh. Oh. Any equipment that passes through it. For instance, uh. the aperture science weighted storage cube. So, so if you try to bring anything, it'll just disintegrate it. Let's see. Let's try it. So I'm going to throw this in here. Just walk through with it. Well, it's, whoa. It just it's sort of faded away. Yeah, what I wanted to do... I don't think I can. I was thinking there's got to be a way to drop the other cube. Yeah, a tilt. can you tilt it right against the door? So that when the door opens, it, it falls into the doorway. Just sort of like get it sort of slightly tilted against the door. Like I don't know what it takes to tilt it sideways. I don't know. Maybe the physics won't allow it. Yeah, like trying to lean it up against the door. Yeah, to to like get it get it like where it's about to fall over. Yeah. Because that's what's funny is they mentioned like oh if you bring the cube in here. Yeah. Obviously indicating that, well, it sounds like you can bring a cube in here. But yeah, that would be a good experiment, though. Grab a whole bunch of junk and try to block the door. Yeah. I'm assuming the door would close and just kick out whatever. That could be. All right, well, let's just go through here, then. Oh. I wonder if we're going up or down. It doesn't say. It looks like we're going up. Uh, down. Oh, yeah. All right, well, I guess that was puzzle number one, so I'm going to hand it off to you. All right. Puzzle number two, and I believe there are 19 puzzles. I don't know. Oh, that's like a, a TV. So, yeah, one out. Oh, I guess maybe this is the first puzzle, I guess. One out of nine. It's weird because it's showing some pictures, but they're, like, faded out. Yeah, it's like they're grayed out or something. 
Because that's what's cool about the game is you can, I don't think you, unless you probably glitch it out, but I don't think you can really get stuck. Yeah. Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt aperture science heavy duty super colliding super button. Super colliding super button. <laughs> You're getting us used to the concept of portal. Please move quickly to the chamber lock as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. <laughs> the effects of a prolonged exposure to the button. Huh. This is like the button gives yeah. up radiation. Please pr proceed, but it's... So it told you to leave. Oh, there. No, it's like it's switching yeah. portals. So that would be the one to wait. Now you gotta wait, and then... So there's really nothing in here. Yeah, where, where else am I supposed to And go? now there's gonna be another portal. And now you can get out of there. Oh, there. I don't think they give the name of who you're playing as. As far as I know, I don't think she has a name. No, I don't think so either. That's kind of cool, though. Like, they keep showing these, like, observation decks there. Yeah, I think that's really awesome. I don't think so, but I think it would be awesome if at some point you would see, like, a shadowy figure up in there. Yeah. All right, I guess it's yours. All right, my work here is done. <laughs> and I know these puzzles are going to get super complicated. Well, now it's got to load. So now it's going to get really tough in the noogie. But yeah, this is one of those games like it would just be super fun to play by yourself. Like shut all the lights off and just... Mm -hmm. You're doing very well. Oh yeah, and there's, that, there's that camera. Yeah. Yeah, right here. Two out of nine, I think. See, it's all overexposed, but I think it kind of shows you. Yeah, you kind of see. Some stuff, but it's... Yeah, Something it's, about dropping it on his head and... <laughs> And once again, like, the audio just got really, really loud. Yeah, it's like we keep turning the thing down. Oh, the portal is shooting through that hole. It's the portal gun. What happens if you shoot yourself? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I think right here it's going to turn. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, I want to see what happens if it shoots me. Yeah. Here we go. Oh. So no, it just goes through right you. Through, yeah. Boo! <laughs> Boo! Turns your your guts inside out. Okay, so I can't go in there. So you got a new portal behind you. There we go. I was thinking you could just jump down, but whoa! So he just auto she automatically picked it up. Uh oh. Those circumstances should be what? It's like there's a power surge. It's like, yeah, don't put it in water, don't put it in a refrigerator, no extreme, t just like the back of an NES game. Yeah. Alright, so here, so the right trigger is the blue portal, so you can just shoot wherever. So where, I want to find, where's that security camera? There it is. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. That's awesome. Right underneath it. That's awesome that you can do that. I don't even know where that all. Oh. It came out of the. So the orange portal is stuck up there for now. Oh, can I pick that up? Yeah. Look at that cord just dangling. That's awesome. Oh, and you pick it up with electricity too. Oh well, yeah, this is where things can get really crazy and complex. Yeah. This is where you're like. Yeah, when it starts messing with like the angles and everything. I really kind of wonder, do they have two maps going on in this game at the same time? And you keep switching back and forth between the two? Or how do they do that? Alright, we're just going to skedaddle on out of here. Doesn't look like anything much going on. Yeah. See, I don't think you can, can you, shoot through this. Can you get, wait, shoot up above that thing. Yeah. Now go through. Oh yeah, see what's on. Whoa. That's not even like a You're split. looking down. Oh, yeah, okay. Because there's nothing on top. There's no rope. Yeah, I was thinking it was a box, too, but... Yeah. Uh, just do it. <laughs> just do it. Don't worry. <laughs> It'll be fine, bro. Just jump through. <laughs> there we go. Nice. It's kind of creepy. Look, It's like, man, it's kind of scary looking at it from that angle. Yeah, it's like you're going to fall. It's like looking down into a half pipe or something. All right, so nothing much. And that's why I love experimenting with a game like this, because you could probably find a lot of crazy hidden stuff. 
Yeah, it just. Oh yeah, that's what it does. It just kind of fizzles out. Yeah. It chars. Yeah. It cooks it, and then it. Oh. All right, so that was that. And I'm gonna hand it back to you. Dang, my back it hurts. Why did I try to stretch this morning? Why did I try to wake up this morning? I'm in incredible pain. Never turn 30, everybody. Yeah, just go right from 29 to 40. Yeah, just skip 30, because that's where you felt the start to fall. Alright, so here we go. What's going on in here? Oh, there's that thing again. Shoot shoot that Please back down. Where did that go now? Oh, it's over there. So, oh, so far, I don't one. have control over the... Um, yeah, you don't get the orange portal yet. Now, is there anything back there that we missed? Like, <laughs> oh, look at that. They're multiplying. <laughs> That's awesome. Just chaos everywhere. That's tough oh, there's another right camera. There. Shoot that thing down, too. Because I think if you, like, do that, something happens. I'm just curious here. Oh yeah, that, and it's like it's just so creepy looking, like getting down there, and it's like, like you're going into the bowels of Hades itself. Yeah. Bill and Ted is down here. Yeah. I look like you were gonna fall. Yeah. Like it's always trippy, like, like looking into a portal from another angle. <laughs> Writes you up. Is there anything under the stairs? Oh yeah. Looks like something from Star Wars. It's crazy. We're in the uh, the Jawas Walker now. Is it? Yeah. From Super Star Wars. <laughs> well done. Remember, the amateur science bring your daughter to work day is the perfect time to have her tested. Tested. <laughs> so there's a little bit of physics. Whoa. Whoa! I hurt myself by bumping into that. And there's no health bar either. Huh? Wow! It turned red. Yeah, Look it's at like that. it's turning red. It looked like she was gonna fall. She's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Cut, cut herself and kicked her foot. Yeah, it's like red from the uh, the orange. Oh yeah, it's like a light shining on it. Now I'm upside down. I'm gonna be upside down if I jump through there. This is funny. It's like, eh, it just slowly rotates. Yeah. Oh, that's wicked. Okay. Let's get out of here. Get the heck out of here. It deactivates your portal gun. There's pads on the elevator wall, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Padded walls. All right, so I'm going to take over. There's really not much in the manual for this game. All right, let's see. It's like here. some items are, like, portal-proof. Test chamber four. Test chamber four. Thank you. Yeah, there's, like, char marks on the ceiling. <laughs> and that's the thing, too. It's like the developers put that there on purpose. Yeah. Now, did they do that just for aesthetic? But why is that so dark? Or is there, like, meaning behind that? Could be mold. Now she's just going to repeat all that. Does it give you control of the, um... Oh, that doesn't work? Come on. That should have worked. Alright, so I dropped that. Yeah, there's another office up there. I'm trying to jump to... She ain't got no hops. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> this is a tall set sister. Yeah. No hops, more malted barley. All right, so yeah, so this is where it's one of those things that wants me to put a portal and drop it. This is where I think you can lose it, and then when you lose the cube, then it drops the other one. Mm. But before that, yeah. I'm gonna throw all this junk down here. Huh. Like just stupid, Dinking stupid around. stuff like this is what I like to do. Oh, I can't pick that up. No, it won't. Oh, it's on the grid. snapping. Yeah. Darn it. Just do that. All right, so I guess I'm gonna so have to go down in. here. Well, good thing you hurt. don't hurt yourself. That's actually really good physics. You could probably really screw yourself up and get caught. Yeah, piling stuff in front of the portal. <laughs> Can't get out. Yeah, every time you bump it, she'll uh, drop it. I was smacking that wall and just put a bunch of junk there, <laughs> and then whoa! Then lift the cube up. 
Alright, so now I'm going to grab this, and we'll see if that door actually closes. Oh, it nice. does block it. <laughs> so I wonder if the cube through. Oh, sparks. Oh, man. Oh, man. <gasps> what is this? <laughs> so, <laughs> so if you screw around enough, the game knows that you might do that. That's awesome. You I didn't take know. it with you. <laughs> Complimentary escape hatch. No, I would just leave with it. That's awesome, though, that the game like recognizes you screwing around uh, enough. Can you shoot shoot the portals in that room? No, this stuff it won't. I want to see this thing get lit on fire. Huh. So it just blackens and disappears. Look up the other one, see if that's any different. Yeah, it's the same. Okay. But no, that's hilarious that like we blocked the door <laughs> and got it all screwed up and she's like, Well, you just done screwed yourself, so we're just gonna leave it open permanently. <laughs> Aperture Laboratories. Hand it off to you.